it's Safar and I'm back with yet another video and today we're going to be looking at the drawings that I did that I did this <laughs> today we're going to be looking at the drawings that I did for week three of this thing if you still don't know what it is I'm gonna put a thing in the card again go watch it now right now but yeah I'm starting to get sick of this challenge and Inktober just started, so now I have two drawings each day that I have to finish. But I mean, I guess it's all a part of the experiment, so it's fine, it's whatever. Okay, so let's take a look at the drawings now. Okay, so for day 16, I figured, hey, it would be kind of fun to try and do a lineless style with my Copic markers. So I did. And I didn't do a sketch for this before starting. I mean, I guess you can say that I sketched it out with the Copic marker. As you can see, I went in and did the entire body with the skin colored marker before I went in with all of the other ones. But yeah, I, I didn't do a, an erasable sketch. And this goes for pretty much every single drawing that I've done for this challenge. In general, I just really like to draw with mediums that aren't erasable. Because I think that it helps to cope with the fact that you're gonna make mistakes sometimes. You can try and fix them, but it helps you to not stay focused on the same mistake for too long at a time. And it also helps you to just say, oh, okay, I made a mistake, who cares, it's fine, whatever. But maybe that's just because I'm lazy, I don't know. But I kind of like how this turned out in the end. I think it looks really cool. I've never actually done a lineless Copic marker illustration before. And this one was really quick. So I I think I would be able to do this better if I tried. Um, but I think that it turned out pretty cool. For day 17, I sketched it out with a marker I have that I have made myself, I guess. It's just ink wash in one of those water brush pen things. But I sketched it with that first and then I went in with this uh, <laughs> black brush marker from eBay that I don't know the name of. Some of you have asked, I'm sorry, I don't remember what they were. And on the actual marker, it just says brush marker in Japanese. So I, I'm sorry, I can't really tell you where I got them or what they're called. But I wanted to try and do a very liney style, if that makes any sense. Like very sharp style in black and then just block in black areas. And afterwards, I wanted to go in with my red permanent marker and color in her rope. So I did that and I think for the most part the blocky uh, sharp style turned out pretty cool. But for some reason when I went in with the red marker, she started looking a bit like Santa Claus. So I'm not too happy with this one. I tried to save it by putting some blue ink wash I have in one of my uh, water brush pen holder thingies on the blue parts. But it's just so faint that you can barely even see it. And she still looks like Santa Claus. Blah. Okay, so this one's kind of weird. As you see, I'm flipping the sketchbook upside down because someone suggested that I do one that was uh, upside down. So I would turn the sketchbook 
upside down and then I would try to draw it as if uh, it was right side up. Do you, am I making any sense? What I'm trying to say and what you can probably already see is that I'm drawing it upside down. So the idea here is that I have to try and make it look uh, good when I turn it the other way around. And let me just tell you, this is really hard. I could probably do it better if I just drew something uh, random from my mind. But since I knew that it had to look like the other ones, I was constantly thinking which way would the hair be floating and which way would this go and what side is the hand on and so on and yeah. It was really hard for me, and you can see that in, in the end result when I flip it over again. Because it looks really bad, and most of the things are facing the wrong way. But, oh well, I tried something new, yay me! On day 19, I was feeling really bad. My hands had started shaking at school, so I couldn't do any animation. And I, my hands were still shaking when I got home, so I couldn't really draw all that well. And I was just kind of bummed out in general because I was having a really bad day. So I just tried to do my best, tried to, to just push through and make the drawing for the day. And for some really weird reason, this one turned out super good. I really love the way that it looks. It's so weird and oddly frustrating that when I really try to make something good, I make something really bad. And when I try to not make something good to just get it over with, I make something really good. Because bleh. Well, at least I did something good, so that's always nice. I didn't draw the face through this one, which may be why it looks so good. But I just didn't want to bother with it when I, yeah, when my hands were shaky and I was in a bad mood. And by day 20, I was starting to get really bored of drawing the same thing over and over again. Again. So I just looked around my room to see what kind of materials I had. And I realized I'd used almost every material I have. But then I got the idea of just taking some of my colored pencils and then switching, uh, randomly switching the pencils. So I had a friend over who would say, uh, just say now randomly. And whenever he s said now, I would switch the pencil to another color. So yeah, no matter what I was working on would just suddenly switch to another color. And I thought that this was really fun to do. It's kind of like in grade school when you have to do the reading tests and you have to switch pencils so they can see how fast you read. I don't know if anyone else has done that, but we did that a lot in my school. But I think that this one's really cool. Although it's not the best pose and the composition isn't great and yeah, it's kind of wonky. I think that the feel and the 
style, the energy of this one is really cool because it has the switch in colors in random places that I wouldn't have done if I was trying to do it consciously. For day 21, I got some help from my friend. You can see us waving at the camera there. So we both got a pencil and then we just started drawing the thing. I um, I constructed it because he was like, ah, how, mm, construction? No. So I started off by just constructing the pose and then he helped me draw. So he's the red pencil and I'm the blue pencil. And this was really fun to do. It's kind of confusing and chaotic, but it's really fun to try and, and corroborate to make one drawing. Even though he was kind of having trouble understanding what this was all about, he wanted to change different things. What's this? This, uh, this, uh... No, 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 no. Why this? Why can't it be that? Because it has to be the same. I, I just know, thought I that know. was funny. No. I just thought I could... No, you can't. Why? I can't take liberty. No, you can't. You're such a bad art channel. Yeah. Who invented this me, shit? Me, I did. Oh. And not a katana. You're not the hand. No, don't touch can me. I, can I put some bling on it? Don't touch can the I, hand. No. I get, no. I can't. No. You can, you can eyeshadow her. Oh, I was just thinking of giving her a cool pair of sunglasses. No. Can't you have no. like a clown hat? No. How about no? Can no? But how about no. a fancy hand guard? Uh uh. No. Uh -huh. But I really enjoyed this, and I would recommend that you try this with one of your friends. Day twenty-two was the last day of November, so I was kind of getting into the uh, Inktober mood which meant that I wanted to, to bust out my ink and do this one in ink. So I picked a random bottle of ink, which happened to be my dark red one. Um, and this isn't the best ink, it flows very weirdly. So this turned out kind of weird. I did it with brushes because it's the only thing that I can actually use to <laughs> spread this ink on paper. And it just, it turned out kind of weird because the brushes weren't that fine. I tried to use a really fine one, but the ink wouldn't flow off of the brush, so I had to use a bigger one. So this turned out um, kind of lumpy, lumpy bumpy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then I decided for some reason that I wanted to put ink wash all over the rest of the drawing, which was probably a really bad idea, uh, considering how badly this paper takes to water. But yeah, it's, it's whatever. I think it looks kind of cool with the with the red ink wash. And that was it for this week. So I hope you enjoyed it. This week had some bad drawings and some good drawings. It was kind of a mix. By the way, bonus information if you stayed this long. I'm gonna be moving soon, so I'm thinking about doing a tour of my room space. Place where I live and do art. Mostly for myself so I'll remember how it looks. Because I've been living here for many years now. So I kind of want to preserve it. But if you would be interested in that, please tell me in the comments down below. I'll probably put it on my second channel so it doesn't clutter this channel. But yeah, I hope I'll be able to keep up with Inktober and everything while I'm moving. So stay tuned for that, I guess. But that's it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later.